We're gonna be taking tip to the groomers later at 11. I like to take off around 20 minutes before. It's a little ways to get there. Not too far, but a lot of little lights in between. If Carla doesn't wake up, I will be going to the thrift store. If she does wake up, more than likely, we're gonna be going to the gym after dropping off tip, and then I'm gonna to try to convince her to go to the thrift store. But if she doesn't wanna to go to the thrift store, probably just come home and get tidy up some stuff. And it's only 8.06, so I think I need to do my laundry, which I just realized I left right here last night. Again, I slept pretty early, I felt really tired. You ever get that tired to where you're just, you really wanna be up, but you're just so exhausted for all good things? I've been doing really good this 11, 12 days of vlogging which is helping me understand a lot of things about myself. And I think that's good. One of the methods in kickboxing, when I used to be a kickboxing instructor going through training for it, is that they would critique me on the way I would kick, a round kick, a spinning back punch or spinning back kick or whatever have you, right? We would do all these things and they would say, you gotta do this little thing and you're doing this. And I felt like I was doing it right until one of the instructors that was training me said, how about you record yourself? Go ahead and do a hundred kicks, right leg kicks, left leg kicks. Uh, and it wasn't until I actually recorded myself that I realized like I see what he's talking about. So it really helps recording yourself. I'm a little hungry myself. Uh, I do have some leftover, leftover refried beans, just a little bit, which is gonna be, I'll make it enough. I do want some bacon. And then, I do love these tortillas right here. Look at those beautiful little bubbles on there. One of the simplest tacos you could order in South Texas. Of course, I gotta add my hot sauce. <laughs> Bean and bacon tacos get me so excited. The day before we go out to the flea market to sell on Saturday and Sunday, the 16th and 17th at Broad Acres Marketplace, Swap Meat, Flea Market, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be selling there this weekend. On Friday, I am going to be prepping some carne guisada. Yes, carne guisada, not asada. Uh, one of my favorite tacos when we go home back to Texas is the carne guisada, tacos, flour tortilla. That's not even an option when we go. It's just, that's how you eat it with flour tortilla. And then you gotta add some cheese. When I had my wife try it for the first time, I told her don't open it because it doesn't look the best, right? It, the gravy, the brown gravy and then the cheese, she opened it and she was like, yuck. And I was like, just take a bite out of it. This is what she did. The carne guisada, as soon as she bit it, she tasted the flavors and she was like, babe, I want two more tacos. Just got finished folding up my clothes and all that left is socks that I want to share with you because this helped me in so many different ways in the military. Not when I was being inspected by my room, when I was uh, just starting the very beginning as a private, but more of when I would travel out and deploy and go to other states or even overseas for training for stuff or deployment. A lot of people roll them up. I don't roll them up. I do match them and I leave them just like this. So when I do have them, just like everything else, I'm not having them separate, separated as in like this where they're individuals and I'm trying to match them up. This saves me a lot of time when I just want a pair of socks to go to, just some quick uh, show my ankle socks and makes it a lot easier than having them just all piled up in something. Time is everything. That's one thing that I've been really understanding more than lately, how being organized helps you have this flow of just movement in your life rather than having these obstacles that you put up for yourself. So even little things like socks and how you prepare them, think about how it just makes it more easier and practical for you to be in your daily life. I'm glad I just noticed this because it would have been, I would have been late to Tip's appointment. I was realizing the other day when I was talking and recording myself about mentioning time and then it, it felt like two minutes later, an hour or two passed by. And I was like, whoa, time went by fast. I didn't feel like I did very much. Although at the time I felt like I was doing a lot. But then when I thought about two hours passing, I was like, I didn't do very much stuff at all. So my alarm went off earlier, which it dawned on me because I looked at the time and I was like, my alarm went off on my phone at 10 earlier. How is it nine now? What's going on? And I worry about stuff like that because I have had episodes where say I blink, and hours passed by and that really scared me in the very beginning now i'm like okay and it hasn't happened 
but maybe uh, a month ago where it happened for like a few minutes. I found myself standing in place here in my living room and I was like, what was I doing? And I noticed the time because of the show that I was watching, like a whole nother episode passed and I was trying to rewind a few seconds. I couldn't find the spot that I, I remember. And then I went to the previous episode and there it was like around 10 minutes towards the end. And then I looked at the time where I noticed it on the next episode, I was like, whoa, this has been like 15, 20 minutes. So I do have episodes because of PTSD and stuff like that. But that's why I'm like, oh my gosh, what time is it? What day is it? It would be scary to be missing out on days. But now I'm gonna adjust my clock, which is easy, it's 10, 10, 10, 10, and Tip ate earlier, which I wanted him to eat earlier. So that way I could take him outside, he'd do his business. I would, I would feel embarrassed if he does have an accident inside the pet shop, the grooming. Dogs will be dogs, right? Especially when they get excited or super scared, they will have a tendency of having a natural reaction of, and that happens. I've learned not to scold tip and it'd be okay if he has accidents, but I try to be proactive about it and have him have a, have a good time because tip is very sensitive. If he digs in trash or things that we've already looked out for that, for example, this. For example, we got dog food and I think he took this out yesterday when we were gone, so I put it back in there. But rather than scolding him, I just put it back because I wanted to see. Although we do have a camera inside, so I could have checked that too. So when he takes out stuff like that, I usually leave him alone. I don't, I don't scold him because dogs will be dogs. They're curious. Sometimes things have scents, a scent to them to where they want to mess with it, especially paper towels. He loves to rip up paper towels. But I think because there's something beyond what I understand, which is now I'm assuming is a scent of paper. So when I used to scold and be like, no, Tip, don't do that. And I'll put it back in place and I'll get him, no, 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 no. He would be really embarrassed or ashamed and he would just stay off to the side, like over here, just hiding away from me. He would wait for you to welcome him. I'm like, come here, Tip, it's okay, it's okay. And then he'll, he'll forget about it. All right, now it's all folded, but now to put it away. Maybe this is why I've been sleepy a lot lately because of the weather. Nice, gloomy, cool, chilly, hoodie sweater weather. Sweater weather? <laughs> sweater weather. It's your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. With Progressive's home quote explorer. All right, we're here, folks. Hold on, Tip. Hold on, Tip. I'm going to carry you because I'm always afraid you're going to hurt yourself. Hold on, you're tangled, boy. Right under. Come on. Come on. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Those one time. So Tip isn't trained. Hold on, hold on, watch out. Tip isn't trained to like be next to me the whole time. And one one day just slipped out of my hands over here. And I was in this parking lot for like 10 minutes trying to get him to stop. And then he was freaking out because of all the all the vehicles. Where are you going? So we're a few minutes early, so I like to let him walk around. He gets really excited checking out new places, although he's been here before. But Piggy tails up over here. They get a lot of dogs coming in, so he gets a lot of new scents and starts trying to mark his territory just like that. This boy does not know how to walk straight. Usually he does on the sidewalks, but places like this, he's gonna zigzag just about everywhere. <laughs> You're making me dizzy, boy. Yeah, get back in the frame. She's gonna do a little walk around, make her way back that way. See, there he goes again, zigzags. Are you drunk? I hope you all are having an amazing day. Not too bad, it's been a really good week. Quiet week, peaceful, getting a lot done. Hi, Tipperoonie. Tipperoonie. Come on, Tipperoonie, play my handsome boy. <laughs> See ya. Bye, bye, All right. All right. I have a order to pack from a viewer. Thank you so much. I learned a lot about this particular item. I called it a turquoise in, in my video and it's not on this channel. Again, I have two channels. I talk about that channel often to let you understand that you're not missing something on this channel. It's something I put on my main channel, my thrifting videos. And I called it a uh, turquoise. And people all over the place were trying to correct me. And I'm glad this is one of the corrections that I was able to understand because some people in the comments will say, 
it's not the way you said it. It sounds like this, but I'm reading text. So it's not like I'm able to under, it's not like I'm able to hear your voice and people try their best. But this is one where I'm like, I get this one out of all the ones I've been corrected on. And rather than calling it a turtoise, it is called a tortoise or a turtoise. Now, which one is it? First one, tortoise or turtoise? Or none of them. Oh, I'll show you what it is when I get home and pack it. I will be dropping that off today. Getting some stuff done here. Getting ready for the weekend. Got to get, I got to be early on this folks because this is trash. <laughs> I got to, I got to be good on this because I don't want to do a last minute. Got some apparel out there. I have some things in here. A lot of things I bought in bulk and ended up being left with it. A lot of things ended up coming from um, another reseller, a friend and a whole garage load of stuff. And I thought I could handle it. I got a while back, I ended up uh, being given a whole bunch of stuff and I felt really bad by not taking it all and I really thought I could handle it I was wrong <laughs> I could not handle it a lot of the stuff that was in here that's gonna be gone from here is gonna be going over to the flea market this weekend we're gonna be at the broad acres flea market I'm gonna be setting up getting in through the gates about five ish 5 30 in the morning really big butterflies that get really anxious get really excited when it comes to things like this even if it's just like hey tomorrow we're gonna go to the movies with my wife and we're gonna have a date i get super excited about knowing that something's coming up i have just my truck one load to have as much things inside my truck to get sold and whatever doesn't sell i'll tell you about that on the weekend <laughs> so man i got a lot of stuff carrie and i were talking about having um piles of clothes which we usually do we usually do like two for five and that goes really fast two for five goes a long way rather than saying uh two dollars three dollars for this we get a lot of people trying to bargain i was going through some of the bags and found some books <laughs> it's incredible what i have inside my piles some Yu-Gi-Oh handbook look look at how pixelated this is what this had to have been an old one it looks old a little bit of damage on there but i'm sure there's going to be people that see this are going to be picking it up at the time it was a dollar 77 digimon those are those little things i used on uh, keychains i think that you would feed oh it's a coloring book coloring books are good for artists some are colored on here some people use this to create their own characters use it for outlining end up making something with themselves i know i did that in the past to help me draw on some things and i do like this i might i might just keep this for myself this one at least and then what else do we got in there vintage mighty morphin power rangers all right this has to be vintage this is is there a date on this 1994 and then here's another one another old schoolie dinosaurs all right and then inside here i'm gonna leave this all in this box i sold so many of this i bought this all these little mcdonald pens for such a good price about a year ago and i've made over a thousand dollars there was a return of a thousand dollars from one person that bought uh, some of them in the very beginning and that made me end up buying more that one ended up getting returned but then i ended up selling them uh they are a set of three one two and three vintage king griffey jr enamel pins from mcdonald's so i'm gonna end up taking these back to the flea market and selling what i have left and it looks like there's a camera down there don't mind the birds overhead now this camera right here i didn't think it was gonna be very much i don't remember where i got it i was given some cameras a while back this canon eos rebel k2 camera alone just the body goes for around 20 to 25 dollars the lens alone is in good condition and it sells for more than the camera for about five bucks so all together which I think is better selling separately. This could be around $50 of something that I had sitting around inside my pile. I'm already stepping in an, in an area that I wasn't able to walk to before other than sliding sideways. So I'm ready for this weekend to happen because all this stuff is not coming back with me. It is not coming back with me. It is not, it, some things might come back with me. <laughs> Don't blame me. Whew. All right, I got some more stuff to pack. But tomorrow is another day, all in progress. Carla was texting me. She's at the gym right now. And, oh, we're gonna turn off the alarm. Oops. 
Tip, you oh, still still waiting on tip. I get a tip, pick up tip from the groomers. It should be about done. What time is it? 2.25? They haven't called yet? Hmm, let me call them. My phone has been acting up lately. My wife was trying to call me earlier today. I missed three calls from her and about five text messages. She's like, hello, are you okay? Where's tip? I threw in, are you okay? She didn't ask about me. She was asking about tip. <laughs> But anywho, um, I do got an order I got to pack up. Um, thank you. This is a viewer, viewer sale? I forget the term for it. But somebody watches the show. So thank you, folks. Thank you all. Uh, purchasing, not purchasing stuff, just hanging out with me. Seeing what, seeing what I do on a daily basis with changes, especially what I say, depending on the mood and how I feel. Sometimes I feel very excited. Sometimes I feel nice, calm, and mellow. And I'm learning how to control that a lot more, especially when my PTSD kicks in. Sometimes it just carries me away and I don't know how to reel myself back, but I'm learning, I'm coping. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm gonna go pack up that order right now. The post office, office, the post office closes at five. I also got a message that I could schedule USPS uh, pickup for orders i do know that thank you for telling me and letting people know if they came across your comment i do know that i often do it but with how you see and have you been seeing my videos sometimes the orders come in the day before in order to get a package picked up you have to have it by i believe 11 p.m your time my time scheduled you gotta have it marked as first class how many items how much does it weigh it's very simple to do through usps and they do very good usually my male man or woman will pick it up the following day if i do have it scheduled in time but if i miss that day like say the order came in this morning i can't schedule that until the next day i like to have my orders packed and shipped the same day as much as possible many times i have them packed within hours and out to the post office dropped off within within business hours of the post office. Sometimes I can't make it. Let me show you what it is that I sold. I just got my first thousand view video on this channel. And one, I think that's gonna creep up on it is the newest one that I had, Carla and I shopping at Costco. Now, what I'm gonna share with you now is something that just sold for this tortoise, which I was calling Turtoise Cup by Lauren Roth Lauren just sold. I was thinking the other one was going to be first to sell, which is a little container. Let me grab that and show you. All right. The one that I thought was going to sell first was this one. I didn't know if I should put it together as a set or not. And I'm, I'm glad I found them. I found them again at the rummage sale. A lot of things from a rummage sale has been selling, which is good because they're selling. And also because it's showing me that I'm finding things that you all are interested in. And that's one thing I'm learning about as well is when what I'm doing, I'm sneakily, sneakily, sneakingly marketing what I have. I'm doing better at it by rather than saying, hey, I found this and this is worth that and this is worth that. I'm taking my, my time to show you what it is that I have. Maybe you're interested, maybe you're not, but it also teaches me what you know about it that I don't know. So this is really cool. This one's, I think I have it for around $40. If there's anything you see in my eBay, you could always send me an offer. A reasonable offer, I'll accept it. Or you could just buy it straight forward, just like this person did. And thank you. I think there was a message to it too, so let's read that now. I enjoy watching your adventures and what you pick up. Thank you for the link to your eBay store. I will be checking it out from time to time. That's what I like to hear, that you're enjoying my videos. And if you ever care to shop around, you can. I usually don't share my link in a bio, but I'm gonna start doing that now. I'm kind of giving, getting over something that happened in the past that was really bothering me, that was really taking a toll on my business of what people were doing that I do not wanna talk about. It's over with and glad that things are changing for the better. Thank you. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to like and subscribe. I've got a neighbor decided to go buff something. If that's even what they're doing. I'm gonna pack this sucker up. I get so much bubble wrap from American Bubble Boys. I really like their bubble wrap. Nice quality bubble wrap. Sometimes some bubble wraps are super crappy. Mm -hmm. Getting this rolled up here. Openings in there, I get a squish inside so it's not hollowed out. Looks like that's quite a bit. That part here, just gonna fold this up into the corner. Roll it over, 
That way it looks nice on the outside. You know, as the whole saying goes, when in doubt, tape it up. <laughs> Nobody says that. I'm about to call in a, oh, I'm about to call in a second to see if Tip's ready to get picked up. This has probably been the longest. And again, my phone has been acting up, so maybe they've been trying to call and it's just not going through for some reason. Um, this is going inside a padded flat rate envelope. <gasps> not a padded flat rate envelope. I've done this so many times, folks. Recycle some of this cardboard box that I have uh, from an Amazon package. See if it's wide enough. Oh, I got this. Let's roll it over. Turn it this way. All the way around. Tape this down all the way around. What do we do? Tape it down all the way around. Press that down like so. I'm gonna cut off these edges, fold them in. Be careful when messing with anything sharp. Also be aware of your surroundings. Last night, there was some cats mating. And if you ever heard cats mating, it's not the most pleasant thing in the world whatsoever. All I heard and I was by my office window. So I was like, be quiet cats, get out of here. Nobody wants to hear you with all that noise and such. And I think they got embarrassed. They ran off and never came back. It's like, I know you got some tendencies going on right now and the force is strong, but nobody wants to hear that cats. And I do mean nobody, okay? And it looks so wide, but there's a lot of bubble wrap on here. It gets to squish down just a little bit. Most people send these in boxes cups mugs things like that i've sent it in all kinds of things all right this cardboard is pretty strong and the pressure from the bubble wrap is going to make it nice and tight nice and secure well there goes my bubble there goes my padded flat rate envelope folks some people call that air mail <laughs> dad jokes and i'm not even a dad all right let me go get that bubble wrap all right moment moment of truth will this fit inside this stay tuned to find out i might just use that <laughs> might just use that there all right folks all righty then all righty then oh i folded over what i like to do too with my hair it's in a way a lot of times pull towards the middle of the adhesive little strip and then fold the other parts in. Oh, oh, my hair getting that? No, it did not. No, it did not. And then on top of that, we are gonna tape the end of this. Sometimes I do feel like cutting it off. A lot of times, I don't. <laughs> the okay, you're kidding, you're kidding around. And this his is, brother cut all of it instead of him. Did you, did you this is a joke, right? This is, this is a sick joke. It, drop off this order and then go pick up tip all right you know how much packages i've seen inside here tip? people don't really look at it packages be right there for the taking i don't take them but some people do i'm excited to go get tip wow I just took the leash off of him and he just leaves. What's that? Hi, Tip. How's that? Hi. Hi, boy. You feel good? You feel fresh? You have this thing. No. No. He doesn't have like the little balls. He's fresh and so clean, clean. And he got a collar. Look at that. Hey, hey, hey. He just had a bath. Get the chair ready. He wants to play. He's excited. <laughs> Damn. No love for me, I guess. That's how Tip does me, folks. But I appreciate you are here. Show love and support. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Day in the life of Sunny Las Vegas and Tip. Sometimes Carla's in it. It was a good day. Got a lot done. Oh, I am going to shower which is, you know what? I'm actually gonna head over to the gym after I get a little bit of rest. Cleaning out the garage took out a lot of energy. I feel like I need to take a nap, but I just need to hang around Tip. He'll give me some energies. He's probably telling me I need to go to the groomers too.
because my hair look at that, is getting long. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. See you again tomorrow.